we have gone out all over Florida and talked to Floridians about what kind of United States Senator they want. I know that make me a better candidate, make me eventually a better Senator. All of these cars that you see out here right now, individual lives, uh, issues, things that they feel good about, things they feel bad about, but they all need and should be represented. It's really discouraging that Congress is not taking action on so many issues. What we want is leadership. We want decisions. It's important that we take that fight to the United States Senate and let them know what everyday people are going through. He took over here as a father type, a leader, helped in this community, so much so that people believe in him. He had the concern and the caring to see how wrong we were. This is really a great way to reach out to people hear about some of the things that they care about. I've seen Kendrick take a leadership role on issues that matter across Florida. He's always got time to talk. He's always got a few minutes. The first time I met him, there was just something magnetic about him, mm -hmm. that, that he cared about people. He is a regular guy. He's an everyday guy. I believe with the approach of being a hands-on U.S. Senator, I will be able to not only help Florida, but help this country. I learned a lot from my mother on seeing what she did to you know, hold things together at home. This is a picture of Kendrick. When he was a very young guy, he was in preschool. He always had a lot of hair. I don't know what happened to it. All of his friends lived on this street. So he ran up and down the street and they passed the ball all day long if they could pass it. I grew up in a single parent household with two other sisters. You know, I've watched the struggles of my mother and how she fought to make sure that we all were college educated and grew up in a household that would promote public service. The one thing that makes me respect him the most is his upbringing, um, the obstacles that he overcame. He has dyslexia. Kendrick had a disability, and he still has a disability. And uh, with that disability, he prayed a lot, and it makes, it makes me <laughs> makes me sad when I think about how hard he worked. Kendrick's always worked harder than ever anybody else, and I think it was because of the problem he had early, but that helped him. And he overcame it, and he was never bitter. And that just impresses me so much about him. Kendrick has had all kinds of exposure to different things. Kendrick has been a sky cap. He started out as a little boy as a sky cap. It was an after school job during the summer and Kendrick was uh, curious, I might say. He wore a size 15 shoe when he was in the seventh grade. So he didn't have any trouble fooling the people at the airport that he could carry those bags. Basically, we had flights come in like from European, I mean Germany, um, England, London, and they was white body the crap. Per day, a worker would average anywhere five to six hundred bags a day. He would always have his cap somehow on his head. It would bounce this way or it would be that way, or some, he would, it was a constant effort for me to keep his cap squared away. But it was a labor of love. I'm glad of what it resulted into. Kendrick was a good football player. Kendrick was a defensive end. He was a hard worker. He was a team player, and he had tenacity. They say football is a game of life. Learned a lot about life in college. Had some great coaches had, um, you know, we call dads away from home. Players rallying around Kendrick's. I'm serious, he used to, they used to come to me and Kendrick was the mouthpiece. <laughs> and it hasn't changed, but he cared. And uh, whatever situation where there's a problem, you can count on Kendrick to come there and try to solve the problem. I spoke to him a lot about trying to go pro and he never, he never had any aspiration for that. But a lot of athletes, when they, upon their senior year, looked forward to trying to try out. He never tried out. Uh, he knew what he wanted to do. Kendrick's mind was on the Highway Patrol. He was always focused toward law enforcement. I joined the Highway Patrol and uh, it was probably the best education that I received as a young adult. Six, five, three, seven, and 96. What drove him to become a Florida Highway Patrolman is that desire to help people and to not wait on 
well, what, what, what does the process say? And have we, have we thought about it yet? And what are we gonna do? It is get in there and get it done. Well, he represents more Haitian Americans than any other member of Congress. That's why Kendrick Meek didn't want to wait any longer. So you've been on the ground now for a full day. What have you seen? What's it been like in Haiti? I was the first member of Congress on the ground there to, to let it be known that what is going to be a long-term recovery for Haiti. Look at all of this. This is a crumble all the way down. And look, and that's the reason why we can't offload containers. Here I am with Congressman Meek. We have the footage now of the child's rescue. Tell me what you saw. Oh, my goodness. The joy on that father's face. The whole neighborhood was clapping. Um, it was a very emotional time, even for some of the rescuers and yours truly. I've been to a number of places. i seeing some of these things up front, but I've never seen or smelled or experienced anything um, like uh, Haiti. Let me tell you a story about Kendrick Meek. We opened the newspaper one morning and the headlines glared and said, Department of Corrections wanted to open a facility in Chattahoochee for violent sexual offenders less than half a mile of our local elementary school. If you know anything about Chattahoochee, Florida, they don't have big time contributors um, to political campaigns there. They have everyday people. We didn't know what to do. We, we were just uh, bamboozled. You know? I got a call from someone I had never heard before, and it happened to be uh, Kendrick Mead. He didn't have to do that. Here's a person who lived 500 miles away from Chattahoochee, and he came to, to help. We were able to fight off that sexual predator facility from being placed across the street from an elementary school. I mean, it's almost unbelievable that it would even be considered. And through his efforts, uh, it didn't happen. A lot of times children fall victim to bad policy because they can't vote, but we can, and we can stand up on their behalf. And it's important that you have an environment where teachers can teach you and where you can learn. The class size amendment came about because our daughter Lauren was in a summer school program in a classroom led by an exceptional teacher but there were 43 children. So at that point, Kendrick decided that we would work towards amending the Constitution to reduce class sizes. Kendrick led that fight. Kendrick uh, did something that no one thought could be done. I want to be able to reach out to voters throughout the state of Florida. And that's reaching them on Facebook or Twitter or sponsoring Mike Wallace's car in the NASCAR series. Uh, we're going to do it. I'm sponsoring an 01 car here to promote my U.S. Senate campaign uh, to let all of Florida know that I want to represent this entire state. It's really an opportunity for voters to get to know me for who I am. That's what elections are all about. You're helping this campaign more than, than you can believe. To all of us that are involved in this historic movement, qualifying by petition, I'm glad that y'all are a part of our pit crew of going out there and doing the things that need to happen. This is an exercise in democracy. Most candidates just pay the money. Sweet, so all you have to do is print your name at the top. We could have gone to Tallahassee and wrote a $10,000 check, but we decided to go out and approach over 112,000 voters and to get them to sign their name on the dotted line. That will help me to be able to stand free of a lot of the partisan politics, but also special interests in Washington, D.C. Congress has changed quite a bit um, since my mother served. Um, and now that I'm serving in Congress, it's changed. Uh, right now, we have a situation where politics has trumped public policy. Kendrick has consistently fought for working families. He's consistently fought for people who have no voice. When I get to the United States Senate, middle class families will not be left behind. When we look at the issue of our veterans, veterans are so very, very important that, I, that, that they have someone like myself who's gonna stand up on their behalf. Individuals here in Florida that know that it's important for us to have a healthcare system so we can have a healthier workforce here in Florida. I think that it's critical that we get the quality of a person that Kendrick Meek is 
in the Senate so we can get something done. <laughs> We're counting on him. We would just love for our politicians to listen. And that is his biggest attribute. He listens. Kendrick cares about people. He's sincere. He's dedicated. He's determined. And he wants to make a better world for not only for him and his family, but for everybody. He believes in others. You know, and he believes in God. And he will work very, very hard. He's a problem solver. That's what I like most about Kendrick. He will find a means to an end. There's no question about it.